Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get uh, Instinct V2 on Blocks Fruits. So let's just hop into it and I will tell you how to do it. Okay, so what you're going to want to have for minimum requirements is you're going to need to have level 1800 at least. Anything under that will not work. You're also going to want to make sure you have the Instinct at 5000 XP. Here's a clip of where you can go to uh, make sure you have the XP. It's going to be in the first seed. Okay, so now that you're here, you want to make sure you talk to the instinct teacher. He's going to tell you some dialogue. You just talk to him, tap status. He'll tell you exactly how much XP you have. Currently, I'm already at 5,000, so I don't need any more. But once you talk, talk to him, you'll see how much you have, and then you'll know how much to work for. A uh, strategy to getting the XP very well is just enabling your instinct, and then going ahead, going to an NPC and letting it punch you as much as you can. And what I did is I left and rejoined to multiple servers to gain the most amount of XP I could. Next you're going to want to make sure you have 5 million berries. This is essential for the Observation V2. Okay, so now we're just going to go and move on to the Citizen Quest. So if you come right over here outside of the mansion on Turtle Island in Third Sea, you're going to uh, talk to Citizen and he'll tell you a quest. He's going to ask you to defeat 50 jungle pirates. They are the NPCs that spawn right over here in this little area. The jungle pirates are not too hard. Uh, it does take at least 10 minutes. It's how long it took me. Um, once you're done with that, he'll say good job. And from there, you can actually follow me Okay, so if you see this little uh, pillar right outside of the uh, citizen, if you go directly in front of the gate, you'll find this little pillar. To the left of it, you have to have something to explode it. I'm just using a bazooka because I have one. Go like that. And then there is a secret treasure that's in here. I have already taken it, so I can't show you it. But once you go into it, after you're doing citizen quest, it will give you a musketeer's hat. The Musketeer's Hat is what you're going to use for the next quest for Hungry Man. Okay, so now I'm going to show you where Hungry Man is. He is going to be down this way towards these little uh, jungle houses. Okay, so once you've completed the Citizen Quest, your next step for observation is you're going to go and talk to this guy. His name is the Hungry Man. He's going to say, hey, you tap talk. He's basically going to uh, say that you need to find him three fruits. Uh, if he doesn't say that, then you're just going to have to continue on from the citizen quest. If you have the musketeer's hat, basically you're just going to collect these three th uh, fruits I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, show you the destination, the, where they are, and uh, what you do is right after you're collecting all three, you're going to head back to Hungry Man, and then he's going to continue the quest. Okay, so I'm going to take you to the first fruit now, and then I will show you where all the locations are so you can continue his quest and afterwards you're going to get observation. So the first fruit's actually going to be right up here. Uh, not on this, but you're going to be going to this mountain up there. I don't know if you can see my cursor, but just follow me along, or follow along with me. Uh, it's right over here underneath the tree. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go over here. It's going to spawn in right here. Uh, you're going to collect it by just stepping over it, as so. Although it's not there for me at the moment, so I can't physically show you. Uh, you just have to walk over it, and then you'll get the fruit. So make sure you don't die between these little uh, traveling bits to find these fruits. But that's going to be where the first fruit spawns. It should be an apple. And then the next one's going to be fairly easy to get as well. Okay, so the next one is going to be... This is from the mansion, at least. It's not going to actually be on this island. You're going to have to follow this way. So just go ahead and head over to the dock and then I'll see you there. Okay, so once you've gotten to the port, you're just going to head over to the big tree. The next fruit is going to be on this island. Uh, I will see you there in just one second to show you. Okay, so we've made it to the uh, big tree island. Uh, as you can see, I parked my boat very professionally. So from this NPC, uh, you're just going to head this way. This little mountain that's up there is actually going to be where it is. Okay, so we made it on top of the little hill. If you go over here, there is the banana. It should be underneath this third tree facing the big island that way. Just gonna walk over it. And now you've collected yourself the banana. 
Okay, so now that you've collected yourself the banana from this island, I'm going to go ahead and show you where the last one is. It's just going to be very easy to find. It's going to be on the spawn island for our third seat, so I will see you there. Okay, so from this point, this is just at the spawn of the port. What you're going to want to do is just follow me real quick. We're going to head right up these stairs, go directly towards the left. There's going to be a little building with a little tarp like that. This one right here. And it spawns in with the pineapple. So now, you should have an apple, a banana, and a pineapple. And then uh, you go back to the island you started at. You're going to go ahead and head to the Hungry Man. Okay, so now that you've made it back to the Hungry Man, you should have, once again, the Musketeer's hat. If you have this, then you can combine the pineapple, the, oh sorry, the pineapple, banana, and apple together. And it's going to make a fruit basket. Sounds a bit confusing, but you don't even need to craft anything or anything like that, no. You just simply talk to him, and he's going to be like, oh, thanks, um, yes. And then after that, he'll offer you the ability to buy for 5 million berries Observation V2. So if you followed the tutorial up to this point, you should be good, you should be golden. Uh, thank you again for watching, that's my short tutorial, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. I uh, hope you have a good day, and I'll see you all later.